The benefit of having a second brain is having all your information in one place, making it easier to complete your future projects and goals. The first step is to add your areas of life. Areas of life are how you group your projects and goals into categories. For example, if you want to improve your fitness or have a few projects in mind in that area, you can add an area called health and fitness. When you create a new area, you can further group it into personal or business if you have lots of different areas. Then, use the page template to generate the layout I created beforehand. You can set this page template as the default for all new pages. This can be done with all the databases. I can now dive into this area page to create some related goals and projects. Say my goal is, is run a half marathon in Q3 of 2023. I will first make sure I selected the correct year as the filter. Then under the respect quarter, I will create a new goal. Inside the goals page, I can then add any related tasks or projects. To make it clear, areas are at the top of this system, followed by goals, projects, and tasks. Projects are a series of tasks, while goals can be made up of projects and tasks. For the goal of running a half marathon, a project could be trained for half marathon. Under this project, I can break down some tasks including Hire a coach Create a training schedule Join a running group I can go ahead and add some dates for these tasks. And you can see at the bottom there's a calendar view for me to easily visualize if my schedule for any day or week is already packed. You can also drag and drop to reschedule a task. And going back to the goal page to run a half marathon, I can have individual tasks such as Find a half marathon race in Q3 2023 Register for half marathon race when you come across a useful resource online, such as a YouTube video, use the Notion Web Clipper to save it to your resources database. This database collects all kinds of external knowledge that can help with your current or future projects and goals. The resources database collects all kinds of useful external knowledge that can help with my current or future projects and goals. This can be a YouTube video, TikTok, Twitter thread, blog post, podcast, PDFs, or photos. Now when I'm back in my second brain page, I will see it appear in my inbox. How this works is because every newly created page in the resources database will have a default status called inbox. And this inbox view is filtered to show all pages with that status. I will now go ahead and add all the related properties for this new resource. You will notice there's a related database called topics. Topics comes as its own database and as you collect all these different notes and resources, you can create new topic to group related notes and resources. I will add a topic for running. Inside a topic page, you'll be able to see all noters and resources tagged to this topic. These attributes and relations is makes it easy to retrieve this information or knowledge for future use. I can then relate this to my goal of running a half marathon and my project training for half marathon. When it's time to complete my task of creating a training schedule, I can go inside this task page and click on Add Resources. This will allow me to search for any related resources and I can easily add the relation in a click. One important part of the second brain that I have yet to mention is Notes. Notes and resources are different databases so don't get confused by that. Use the notes database to write down internal knowledge and ideas and consolidate your thoughts. In comparison, you write note and summary of a YouTube video in its own page under resources. But when it comes to consolidating your thoughts, you will do that in the notes database and link to all its relevant resources. In consideration of my goal to run a half marathon, I can use notes to plan my training schedule and also a post running routine. Each note starts off with an inbox status then drafts, and finally permanent. Notes in inbox means you have not started writing anything except for having the idea on what to write, while drafts are those notes you're writing in progress. Lastly, permanent notes are those you've finished writing. Notebooks is how you can group related notes together. These notes might not belong to the same areas, goals, 
projects or topics but are still related in some way, and that's when notebooks come in to better organize your notes. Fast forward to when I have completed my half marathon, this training schedule may longer be relevant to me. This is when I can send it to the archive page by checking the checkbox called Archive. This can be done the same for projects, goals, and resources. Archiving any page means to remove it from all the views throughout the second brain system except for the archive page. You can archive a page at any point in time whether the project is still in your inbox or already in progress so long as it's no longer relevant to you. The purpose of archiving pages instead of deleting them is so you can reference them when needed in the future. Say two years later, your friend might be interested in running a half marathon and ask you for your advice because you already did it. You can then go back to your archive and search for your training schedule note and share it with them. Many of us consume tons of information from YouTube, TikTok, blog posts, Twitter threads every day but at the end of the day, we cannot remember any of it even though we once thought that piece of information was helpful. This is because our brain simply cannot remember everything and we also don't want to clutter our mind with information we might only need in the future. This is why we have a second brain to help us capture and organize these pieces of information from our day to dad life and then later help us fast track our goals, projects and tasks when we need them.